it it just makes me laugh every time there's a Mars right in the middle of the draft and he just has to he's always going to be covering someone with the shield poor old invoker <laughs> just not uh not getting a real look of course Mars is holding up the shield now but he'll put it back down and suddenly invoker is half gone <laughs> it's really the way it should be anyway especially if execration <laughs> does have the persona going you just don't get to see oh, any yeah. of the kid invoker which is perfect for me it's yeah, just, absolutely. I don't well, want to see that crap. We'll have to see if they do have it. It would be poetic justice to have that covered up. Still, draft does go on. You see the AA band out here by T1. So kind of trying to get the maximum value they can for their Omni Knight pick. And just ensuring that they don't have to worry about being blasted down. Exploration did take out the Bat Rider that we've always seen kind of banned out in this phase. If it hasn't been picked up. And they do take out the center. So there's, they're targeting the Cuckoo Heroes. They seem to be assuming the mid mag coming out here. Ursa safe. Uh, we'll see if that's the case. Cuckoo has played Magnus before on the off, but we've seen off Magnus. It has been rather slow, right? You go for the arcanes, you go for the mech, the blink timing slow down. You don't have damage. I think Cuckoo, with how he likes to play, might be looking for something to allow himself early setup for the team and a bit more of a snowball effect rather than a supportish off laner here. Do you ever think that one day we'll get the uh, the Legion Commander persona where we get our guy on the horse again with the mustache? <laughs> Maybe. Um, Do you remember? Would be an interesting shakeup. Yeah. That was yeah, actually remember. that was actually so frightening when you saw that guy running at you with his damn <laughs> horse. It just yeah. duels you, and you just that was actually really. I mean, now Legion Commander, she she runs at you, and it's. It can be scary, but you know, most of the time you just feed some jewel damage away. It gets a little bit yeah. sad. I want my horse Not back, as intimidating. John. Yeah, well, you could play the CK if you want and crash some PCs. True. You could do that and do it one. I can't play the CK, John. I'm, I'm very scared to press the R button if I do play an Aghanim Scepter with CK right now. <laughs> Execration, they do go oh. for the last pick, Phoenix. So a very strong kind of draft here. Uh, plenty of skills to be thrown out in the arena. I would say that Arena is going to be very influential this game. Uh, you've got the Egg, the EMP, the Chaos Meteor, the Sun Strikes, the Cataclysms, uh, any Spell Rubik stills, the Sven, of course. And speaking of the Devil, would you believe it? The Legion Commander does come out. Cuckoo will take it. And I do really like that set uh, that he does have on the Legion Commander as well. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice looking set, I should, add, I should add. But it's not a horse jump. And that, uh... No. It's not, it's the, not same. the same. Nope. It's not. It it always looked a bit wonky for me, though, that Dota 1 animation when you'd uh, counterattack. It looked Don't you so dare. weird on Don't. Mars. <laughs> and, then, you and then you've dare. got that whole scaling thing. Like we talked about with the CK, right? I pointed it out that he looks so <laughs> tiny in comparison to the horse. Do you reckon a Legion commander here, would it be... So the Legion commander is the person riding it or the horse? Because it feels like C Chaos Knight. The horse is the actual knight there because it's so damn big, right? I would love to see it, though. That is a good idea for Persona. Why Why don't you work for Valve, Mike? You could give them some good ideas there. Um, Maybe I mean, get some Earth Spirit sets out. I'd like to work for Valve, John, but looking at their uh, their job requirements, it says you require talent and skill and qualifications, <laughs> and I, I don't have any of those, John. I, 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 like I told you before, I come from a very poor uh, part of Sydney. I, uh, I, I don't <laughs> know much, John. What does that have to do with us? What do you mean, John? <laughs> it, it's not like I got a good education. I'm here casting oh. Dota. What, what, why do you think I'm oh, casting that's Dota, John? <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah, that immediately disqualifies us for any sort of intelligence. Still, gonna look how this game breaks out. Again, you mentioned it, but the Mars is gonna be really influential here. So, Rupidot's gonna have to set up with his arena. We're gonna have to see if he can deliver. He has been pretty on point for execration, though. Like, he's been setting up. So a lot more pressure here. What are they doing? How doggy cuckoo? What does that mean? That John? I have no clue. That that is definitely just probably That's, just their inside. Can someone joke. in the chat please translate? Because the dog Fili friend, the Filipino friend. I have on stream right now can't it's speak the language. It's not Filipino. Oh, stop it's it, not. John. It's not. I How do just I know, John? Friendly dog, dog friend. <laughs> Throwing him under the bus. Why? Pal doggy cuckoo. For cuckoo. <laughs> Manung ninong cuckoo sa Pasko. What? Um, Uncle Cuckoo at Christmas. Is he asking for a gift? BDZ, are, look are you looking for something here? 
Maybe he wants to get into the action at Okada as well. <laughs> uh, maybe Kuku will give him a bit of dual damage this game. But that should be enough. <laughs> yeah, some dual damage on the Rubik. Always useful oh, to look have. At that. PDZ. Jackie says go, and everyone else is like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. And Jackie's like, oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Carl Pal Dog. <laughs> Love that guy. It's always good to Wait, see I'm, I'm trying to decide for this. I can't when you least expect it. see Carl. You don't get this in uh, you don't get this in other regions where people just pause the game and just start talking trash to each other. <laughs> That's how it goes. Gosh, I wish I could understand what VDC just said. I can't. It it it's so. No, my it it feels to. What is it? I'll, I'll get someone a... in the chat. Don't worry. The chat will know. Someone in the chat, read that, please. See Carl Paldog Naden I Laba Tayo Dian. See that, John? That's perfect pronunciation. See Carl Paldog Naden I Laba Tayo Dian. Don't don't repeat it after I said it, John. I told you I already <laughs> pronounced it perfectly. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely perfect there, Mike. We'll find out. Chat will fill us in. We'll find out in five minutes because of the delay. Don't don't you worry, guys. We're not going to be that clueless for too long. Seven right. digits says BDZ. Yeah, which is something nice. we're very far away from, John. Don't get any <laughs> ideas. It's, that's not for that's not for us. Hey, so. that's why Cuckoo's bringing us to Okada. He's he, got seven digits. He was trying to be nice to you, John. And anytime someone offers you something, you always just want to take full advantage of it. You just leave Absolutely. the man. Poor March. He said hello to you <laughs> once. Now you won't leave him alone. No. No, I won't. You better watch out, March. I will say hi to you every single time. Still, game unfolds. Gonna have to see how these this does go out. Carl is gonna take mid, so it's our mid Magnus up against the mid Invoker. That one should be some, an interesting one. We haven't seen this kind of matchup in a while, mainly because we've always seen Magnus and Invoker band out. So we'll see how far Carl can push it. Um, should be a bit of a test. Uh, Ken should have a good time. Should regen true. And hold down this lane just fine. What's up, Mike? I love Cuckoo. He, he just spams try hard and then says good luck. And then tips BDZ. Straight after that. Like, <laughs> very mixed messages here from Cuckoo. So, I, I love watching Cuckoo. I, I think he's a fantastic player. He is. Yeah. It's, uh, you know how it is? He, he loves trolling around with his... Uh, <laughs> he loves trolling around with his... <laughs> Long White Mon's in on the action! Wait, it was White oh. Mon. Uh, he's doing No, it's BDZ doing the tag! What? <gasps> <gasps> oh, BDZ! He, he hit the Roshan and took the trees out! Wait a minute! You can't just do that to White Mon! That is the ultimate BM to White Mon right there, hitting the Roshan before he can. And now the tips come out from Yowie. He's letting him know. <laughs> for some reason, all right, before we before we break into serious this year, for some reason, every single time someone throws out dog, White One jumps back in and starts hurling that back. It seems to be his favorite go-to insult for some reason. It's his favorite. <laughs> God bless White One. He, he is an interesting guy, as Savage would say, Louis. Still, let's see how his lane goes. He is going to be up with Jackie on the Ursa. So you've got that dual lane there, dual melee, but very sustainable dual lane. Up against that, Big Mars, Rupido, and BDZ going to be holding her own. Level 2, level 3 spike is going to be big once you get that lift into Spear, but early on, Jackie should be able to hold just fine as long as the God's Rebuke spam doesn't hurt him too much. Absolutely. No, why am I just going to run BDZ down? That's one of the things you can do up against the Rubik as an Omni Knight is just kind of run him down. There's uh, not much BDZ can do about that. And as soon as BDZ leaves, just go pay your attention towards Rupido. Nah. Well, I'll just keep going. Of course, in the mid lane, we do have Ken on the Invoker. Playing up against Carl on the uh, the mid Magnus. And well, right now, Ken is pumping out quite a lot of harassment towards, uh, towards Carl. Looks like he will continue to do so as the laning stage does go on. Carl, I, I imagine, will have to bring out a bit more regen for himself as time goes on. But as the levels go up, he should feel a bit safer. His bot lane, Cuckoo, almost drops. Everyone almost dropping, in fact, uh, across the map. This bot lane looks to be where all the action's been happening. Cuckoo and Zephyr are going to be up against Yoweh. And, of course, RR 
Uh, like I said, everyone dropping fairly low in terms of HP. But, uh... Looks like they'll go for the small camp pool. Everything will reset just a bit. Uh, both teams should just relax a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's, it's really down to the aggression both sides have with their combinations. Like, you look down bots. Zephyr, of course, will want to just spam out the Shadow Poisons. There's not much you can do once you get that stacked up. And you really do have to be careful about your spacing there. They do have a lot of regen on hand, though, on the bot lane. So you're not going to fully find them shoved out with that spam, but it is making it tricky to find last hits. Have been lagging slightly behind on Yoe. Just a few creeps behind Jackie on the start. So not the smoothest starts for a spin. Cuckoo and Zephyr again making that difficult, but overall, you're not going to be under threat anytime soon. Uh, you are still finding levels on RR, and if you hit that level 3 spike on the Phoenix along with the Stormhammer flying through from Yoe, you can burn a couple of these heroes down. That you can. Back to mid, Carl's look, been looking very healthy on the mag now, and of course, with the Magnus, if you do feel healthy enough and not at risk of dying, you are going to be able to out-CS Ken very easily on the Invoker. You do have that inbuilt and power to just make sure you can secure every single CS. And a very nice cliff out from Carl as well. Denying away that range creep with the Tornado and now oh, he doesn't get the deny off anyway. So the glyph was nice, but he didn't really get the deny, which kind of ruins the whole thing. It's still fine, I guess, as he tries to go for the Shackle, but a Cold Snap is out from Ken. He will barely miss that skewer. Yep, it's a really tight lane. You're seeing Carl pull ahead in last hit, though, and this is where the Invoker kind of falls flat. He can trade a bit better with range, but the wave clear of Carl is a lot more consistent with the Empower. So Ken's gotta gotta watch himself. Like Carl doesn't care too much now. He's got his bottle. He's gonna wait for the form and the Power Rune to spawn up, and they've already got their supports in position here. T1 White Mon walking down top to secure that Rune. If they do it. Bit easy. One well, gonna have a fight over it to lift up, but it's gonna be down at the bot lane where Carl does get a double damage rune active for himself. Does put it in the bottle. That's just gonna mean he secures even more CS now. It could be a, a very tough time for Ken on this invoker once he does opt to choose to uh, to bring that double damage out. Might even wait to the level six mark if he wants to try to go for a kill onto Ken with an early RP. Uh, the DD should allow him to get the damage out. Yeah, would be a really big spike. So you've got to watch your spacing there if you're Ken. Maybe call for supports to bully out Carl while he drops low, but doesn't look like they have too much space. Every single lane is under a lot of pressure for execration. Looking down bot, I mean, Yoe just drops really low and they get the first blood. Oh, well, they do. RR is the one to drop. Zephyr able to get the kill and only the uh, Shadow Poison spam that was coming out is Yoe now. I mean, you pointed out how low he is, but... It's going to be tough for him to sustain himself in this lane until RR does come back with some regen. I mean, Cuckoo is able to just take over the lane for free on this LC. There's a lot of creeps going Cuckoo's way as well. A, a full double creep wave, in fact. It's going to feel very nice for this LC. Yeah, it's it's been a smooth start here for Cuckoo. And you're at the point where, you know, even if you have these fire spirits up in the Phoenix, the... The press the attack's gonna be there to purge it off anyway, although Zephyr in trouble. It's like he may die. No, the stick charges will be enough to survive, and the last fire spirit did not connect. And he'll just salve up immediately. Top lane, White Mon going on to BDZ, but a nice spear out from Rupido does end up getting the kill. Jackie trying to move in for another slam, but is unable to. As he was blocked up by our Mars. And uh, Jackie, just keep up the farm on this Ursa. He is top of the CS board right now. There's no real reason for him to chase down kills if he doesn't need to. I'm sure he's just happy keeping up the CS. Yeah, it's a really good time for him. Top of the last hits board. So T1 are still finding what they want in this lane despite dropping that one kill. They are securing Jackie's early farm. Remember, this farm will escalate if they have Carl come up. Give him an empower down the line. Going to be flash farming like a madman. So that's something Execration really has to keep in check. Rupido is also farming up rather well. Level 6 is his spike. Uh, you'd really want to make something happen with his first arena. Maybe even just locking in the Omni Knight is going to be enough to give you a bit of a gold boost. But you definitely need to keep that pressure up top and try to buy space for Yoe. You're just not getting the same effect from your Sven bot, which is always surprising. But this has been such a high pressure lane for T1 and... Yo is Carl. just never really getting space. 
Very mid, uh, very low in the mid lane, I meant to say. Carl. So, uh, copped a cold snap there from Ken. We'll end up getting through it and we seem to have some nice passive regen to be able to get back into the lane. But Ken, gonna be feel very happy with himself over the harassment he's been dishing out onto Carl. You are at that stage though, as with the mag, you can just go to the neutrals now. But I don't really see Carl sticking around in the lane too long. He could probably give it over to Zephyr on the, uh, on the, or White Mon on the Shadow Demon and Omni Knight and just let them take over the mid lane. Yeah, it's gonna be easy enough for Carl to start playing that jungle. Looks like he will. No supports coming out yet, as again, they are applying pressure. Arena. Yeah, top lane. They've got White Mon in the arena and they will get a secondary kill onto the Omni Knight. Nice pick up there for Execration. Uh, that'll mean a 2-1 to one now. T1 just trailing slightly behind. And that was important for Execration to find. The moment you hit 6 in Rupido, Rupido, you needed to find that kill. They find it. Not the biggest target, but it's all about getting some gold in Tier Mars early on to start applying that pressure on the Ursa to make him feel less safe. White Mon does just jump back in, and Jackie just clears out some pretty big stacks. So overall, T1 not going to be too scared of that movement, but they should be aware that uh, Execration's getting ready to hunt. Oh. Jackie, it's going to be all right up at that top lane. Like Zephyr made a rotation to the mid, but he'll go back down towards the bot lane. Yo, it. Threatening with the war cry, but is not going to throw out the stun. Cuckoo feeling very confident to just keep abusing this kind of, this LC, the amount of sustain she has. Wants to try and take some of these creeps away, and actually does with the overwhelming odds. He will be able to get a couple of creeps for himself, and I'm sure Yoe is not going to be very happy about that. That's a, a good amount of gold Cuckoo intercepts. He also soaks a lot of EXP. This is a solo lane for LC, so level 7 is going to be coming up soon for Cuckoo, and they're going to have to be careful. They haven't made moves for the first duel yet, but once Cuckoo is confident enough to get that kill in, you can expect him to start looking for those plus 10 damage stacks soon. Definitely can. Zephyr looking to make a rotation mid. If he lands the disruption, they can go into an RP skewer back. Looks like Carl was a bit low on mana anyway, so they can't really uh, afford to try, but he's going to be happy with just continuing to take stacks. Carl's not stressed out at all. Still just farming very nicely. I mean, you look at this Earth, oh, in fact, White Mon. Top lane, gonna have all his mana drained. Ken does make the rotation now with the spear. Rupido does get another kill for himself on the Mars, and that's a nice rotation out from Ken. Of course, they would have loved to go after the Ursa, but Jackie has already shown up down at the bot lane now. He's looking to trade those T1 towers very early on. Yeah, it's gonna be a straightforward trade. Uh, no defense coming out from Execration, although RR is hanging at the back, but he does not have the egg. It's a bit, bit of a risky spot. They are still getting some good farm out here on T1. You're seeing Jackie and Carl really pull ahead, and Jackie actually finds RR. He does, but RR going to Icarus dive and just TP up. He'll be perfectly fine. Surprised Jackie actually went for the Enrages. White Mon top lane again going to go down. This Mars has been very aggressive, already finding a third kill. In fact, fourth kill for himself now. A very good game thus far, and it does force Cuckoo to rotate on the LC. In oh. fact, another arena puts the hand up for a high five. I don't believe he has enough damage, but Ken's going to come back in now. He really wants his kill. Cuckoo going to press the attack, go for the jewel oh. out. I'm not sure about this one, Cuckoo. RP's going to be there. Carl going to come in to try and save the day. They do kill off Cuckoo with the tornado, and now Carl's going to be in trouble. Rupido is just way too tanky. They get the spear off, and with that, Yao is going to come in and get the kill on the Sven. Great rotations out from Execration. All off the back of this Mars. Yeah, they really are playing off the back of Rupido, and we talked about this, but they really needed the Mars to pick up that pace. He has been delivering. They've been playing around the timings that they can get early with the Arena, and that does give them a nice set of kills, giving them that top tier one trade as well. Six to one. They are still lagging behind the network overall. That is just down to the fact that this is a Magnus game, but so far, that gap isn't that big. No, it is not. Down the bot lane, Jackie. He's going to be enraged up. He looks like he might be okay. The shockwave does come out. Ken. Jackie's still going for a run. Cuckoo's going to follow up just in case he needs the help. But it looks like he's going to be fine. And they're going to turn back around now. 
on execration. Also, if they do give up on that. In the meantime, BDZ did steal the purification off the Omni Knight, which is going to be kind of handy if, uh, if one of his teammates does get jeweled up by Cuckoo. Could be a nice way to turn that jewel around. Definitely will be it. And that's the one boon of the Rubik versus uh, Omni Knight. Every single spell you steal is going to be useful to, to the Rubik one way or another. So you do have to be conscious about that if you are White Bond. He does have his level 6, so we might see something come out with an offensive Guardian Angel use. But so far, T1 understanding where the strength of their lineup is, it's still at, you know, farm efficiency. So they're just going to get Jackie some space to keep farming up, still saving up for that Battle Fury. We're seeing Carl as well save up for his Echo Saber Blink. Almost there in the Echo Saber, but the Blink's still a bit further out. And, uh, and that does mean that the game will stall out for T1 just a bit. That it will. Oh, Blaine, they still want to try and get a fight going. Rupiro seems very prepared for this. Has the arena back up and Yoe, or Yoe is, uh, is going to be around. But looks like he'll go for the farm on the creeps. RR, going to be right behind our Mars. Zephyr, going to go for a bit of a run. Arena is going to be perfectly placed there by Rupiro, and he does get the kill, or maybe not. Zephyr does disrupt, but he is coming back out to his death, and RR is the one to take the kill on the Phoenix. And they are really off to a great start, 7-1. to one. RP though, top lane, gonna be on Yoe. Underneath that tier 2 tower, he'll try to go for a run now with the Storm Hammer being thrown out. The God's Rebuke from the high ground is gonna slow them down. And T1 cannot capitalize off that RP skewer. That would have been, been a really big kill for them to take. They needed to keep the Sven kept in check. But they don't manage to find that opening. Rupido again, with the proper spacing, the proper positioning, managing to get that slow. And now they're going to be forced to defend that mid-tier one. They do manage to force them away, but this is time where they're not farming up. And this is time where Yoe just gets to play in the triangle with his own stack. So overall, T1 just not working the map as efficiently as they'd like. They are forced to really wait for these key item pickups before they can really start to make any place across the map. It kind of goes back to these supports. Right, like you can't expect the Shadow Demon and the Omni Knight to really set up plays. They will need a backup of their course, and their course need items to be comfy. Mid lane. Disruption. Gonna be out. Uh, who was it even on? It was on to Cuckoo, but he blinks away in time. Still, Yoe gonna pop the God's Rebuke. Not, God, not God's Rebuke, God's Strength. They're gonna go in, Arena gonna be dropped, the Jewel is there, looks like they might even find Yoe, they're trying, he's pretty healthy, but he does eventually go down. Now, the Guardian Angel does come out from White Mon. they wanna keep going for this fight. Jackie, looking for a target, but they aren't gonna really be able to find anyone apart from RR on the Phoenix. Can he get himself out? He does have the Icarus Stuff. They're going to turn back around now. Onto Jackie, but he'll stick charge up. Still trying to get away. Can he get out of there? There's so much heal coming out. They do manage to make it happen. T1 keeping their core alive, and all well, that illusion from Carl is going to be targeted as Cuckoo. Does actually deny off the mid tier 1 tower. Pretty nice stuff from T1. It was really nice. They stall out the push, they get the deny. They did only just find a Sven, but that is the biggest target from Execration, so overall you're glad. They are still lagging overall in terms of kills, but they do have the network lead back in their end. So it's 7-2, to two, a slight swing up for T1. Exactly what they'd want at this point in the game. They just need to keep playing this farm game. With their Tier 1 mid gone, though, their jungle is going to be a little bit more exposed. So they've got to be aware of the movements out from Execration. They already have this deep ward in the jungle as well. And they need to know that it's not very safe in that top jungle and reconsider where they need to play this farming game now. That they do. Carl, trying to get that Blink Dagger up on the mag. So, uh, gonna have it in about 400 gold. Bottle, gonna be refilled there by Cuckoo. It's like Ken went back for the Midas build on the Invoker, so that's gonna allow him to keep scaling on this Invoker as time goes on. Again, the Invoker Mag meet in the mid lane, but BDZ this time is going to be right behind Carl. Still, Cuckoo going to be there to make sure Carl does stay alive as well. 
Meanwhile, Zephyr finds himself in a peculiar situation. He's going to try and run with the press the attack out from Cuckoo. Now the overwhelming odds, purification, and the heavenly grace all keeping him alive as now Cuckoo goes in for a duel. However, Arena and Ooh. Guardian Angel stolen by BDZ. They will keep everyone up, and Cuckoo will be the one to die. Jackie's going to go in on the Ursa. They'll aim down Ken, and they do get the first kill. Back onto Yoe. Do they want to fight this Fen? They'll go after Rupiro first, but a nice spear away. Now the skewer into Yoe, but he's going to turn back. Go for the team fight. He does get one. Jackie's still around, but he's being burnt by the Sunray of RR. He does manage to kill off the Mars, but it will cost him his own life. And now they keep going after Zephyr. Zephyr will probably survive this, as he does have White One right behind him. But definitely a very nice team fight out for Execration. Definitely is. Uh, T1, a bit hasty on the jump in with the duel for Cuckoo. So he doesn't get the ideal duel he'd want. They don't manage to find the kill. They force out the stolen Guardian Angel from DDZ from the last fight. And they kind of fail to, for, fail to remember that the Rubik can do that. So again, T1 have to be mindful of that Rubik. It does do a lot of work if it steals these spells from the Omni Knight. And that just means White Mine has to watch his positioning. He needs to keep himself as far away as possible from the Rubik while still getting his spells out in its timely fashion. Not an easy job to do, but that is what is required from him right now. Still T1, they're not lagging too far behind in terms of net worth. It swings back the way of fixed creation, but still less than 1k lead going their side. t one still working the map well. They've got the Battle Fury up in Jackie so he can farm independently of Carl. And that means Carl can just focus on building his next item. Has that blink with the Echo Saber up on her Magnus. They can't oh, play around over Cuckoo. Cuckoo. He does find Cuckoo. Sunstrike going to come in with the Sunray. A lot of sun. Cuckoo is absorbing right now and he will die. Zephyr meanwhile TP'd in to try and help. But this might cost him his own life. He's going to try and run. But RR right next to him does get the control. And they do get the kill. Great plays out from Execration, but Jackie jumps in, kills off BDZ. They have White One around with the Heavenly Grace, and they're going to make the chase onto this Mars. But that one creep is blocking the way for Jackie. He'll eventually get there. Rupiro underneath the Tier 3 Tower. The skill is going to come out. They do get the kill. This is buying a, a lot of space out for Yoe. He's still farming very nicely on the Sven, and it looks like he is going to start working on towards that Aghanim Scepter now. That's going to be a big spike for our Sven. He will still have to watch out for the disruption and the Heavenly Grace. That will stall out his control. But with a BKB on top of that on our Sven, he doesn't have too much to worry about in terms of control from T1. He should be allowed to run around. The only real threat is Zephyr with the Demonic Purge. But he has been picked off fairly consistently. Still, the Roche does fall really fast at T1. This is the effect of an Ursa Draft. Jackie gets to pick up the first Aegis of the game. Execration, not too much time to respond. They're going to have to maybe work their way around the map. There is still an RP on T1, so they've got to be cautious about clumping up with this. Oh, they found out Zephyr. He will go for the disruption before the stun does come in. Meanwhile, Rupiro going to jump in. Zephyr, he will die. Now it's on to Cuckoo. They got the cold snap with the earn out, but he will press the attack. Meanwhile, Jackie going after Ken. Cuckoo still trying to control the rest of them. Ken going to survive. The skewer back on BDZ. The Guardian Angel out from Whitemon. They do get rid of BDZ. Spear, though, is going to be very, very nice. Onto the Omni, so Whitemon will die. Onto Jackie. He wants Ruopiro, and he might just find him, and he does. Yoe is still trying to fight out, though. Goes after Carl now. The duel is there, but they already cut off Carl, and now Cuckoo goes down. More damage out for Yoe. Jackie's still going, but the BKB will be popped from our Sven, and he's going to gonna make a run for it on to Jackie once again they go and they will get the ages can they get him a second time Jackie gonna try and run but the cold snap is there with the urn Zephyr is back around so Jackie gonna turn back around onto Ken and Ken is actually gonna die to that one shadow poison from Zephyr and with that Jackie is gonna make a run these, these fights are really messy for T1. They're not finding the angles and they lose a whole bunch of heroes. Four hero wipe, five if you want to count the Aegis. And Execration just really punishing them. Um, T1, biggest issue right now is that Carl cannot find an angle. He's standing around, he keeps getting earned up, he keeps getting some DOTs on top, so he can't blink in for the RP. And without the RP, our Magnus is just basically standing there, maybe getting an Empower off. Not the most meaningful impact. And we need to see a little bit more coming out here from Carl. 
Uh, perhaps once he has his BKB, that job gets a little bit easier. Until then, you're playing at a huge deficit. You're basically playing 4v5 if Carl doesn't get the spell off. And Execration for their part, really great first BKB reveal from Yoe. Yoe, he is saving up for a Blink instead. So rushing the Blink first instead of Yags gives him a little bit more flexibility in his initiation. And that means he doesn't need to worry too much about being baited in. There is a smoke now as well from Execration. Now they're going to give another team fight a crack. T1, they're just going to sit back on their high ground in the jungle, just relax. If I say that, Cuckoo, going to be spotted out down at the bot lane, does end up dying. So ultimately they do still end up getting a fairly valuable kill for their trouble. And with that, Yoe, stun going to be thrown out onto the mag, but Carl is going to skewer away. Uh, looks like they're ready to, to keep going here, but T1, they're going to be very defensive. They're just going to sit back and try to avoid any kind of engagement for now. Yeah, they, they still need time to farm up. They'd love to have those BKBs up, or at least the BKB on Carl. It's almost done. They're going to have this Satanic built up as well on Jackie, and once you have that, the stat resist is pretty ridiculous. Uh, Heavenly Grace plus the Enrage plus Satanic status resist. You are not locking in this Ursa. They will have to concede some objectives and the defense comes in. Rage is going to be there though. Jackie is ready to fight, but there are a lot of heroes coming out. Yoe just blinking forward and Jackie losing so much HP. He will get taken down onto White Mon and poor White Mon. He can't take the strikes from Yoe on the spin. With that, a 3k net worth advantage now for Execration. They will continue roaming through this dire jungle trying to find more. Yeah, they're just getting that punishment out. The 3k leads on their end now in Execration T1, starting to really lag behind. Losing Jackie is big. It's just every single core of T1 is stuck farming. And this is exactly what they do not want to have to happen. Still BKBs up in Carl. They could look for an opportunity once the Ursa is up, but they're going to lose objectives if they have to wait that long. Yeah, Ag's up on Ken though. So you got to watch out for that Cataclysm now. So. I just don't see them finding much out of the smoke. T1, they might just kind of rotate and try to get some uh, some farm going on the other side of the map with this smoke, or maybe not. They're going to keep going north, back towards their own tier 2 tower that is being pushed in by Execration. There's going to be one TP in. White Mon going to get scattered out, but Rupido is all by himself. He's going to try and fight this one out with the arena, but it looks like he is going to be alone. Still, they do go onto RR. The Phoenix going down. Now the Jewel is there. Cuckoo has found BDZ. BDZ is still alive, but will eventually die. And now the Mars being left behind is going to mean a third kill out for T1. That'll be a very nice feeling as they have been losing the last couple team fights. With that, they can feel good about themselves as they might be able to find maybe a mid T1 tower. They could still go hunting if they wanted to. They still have RP standing, full 10 second DKB chart has not been expended by Carl. So he still has a lot of spell immunity left in that first item usage. Not quite lined up for a push. They will at least take out the top tier one that they committed to last time. They do finally find that. You are seeing some talent spikes line up here for T1 as well. Jackie, level 19, about to hit 20. Gonna have a huge amount of damage or a lot more mobility coming out with lower cooldowns, depending on which way he goes. And Jackie's BKB is also almost done. So the problems you've had locking in the Ursa, I think you, you will really be hard pressed to keep Jackie pinned down. With this BKB flying in, um, once he can just stand there and fight, that will fix a lot of T1's issues right now. Is Execration, they had a slight 3k lead a while ago. It's back down to T1's way at less than 1k. So every single fight they lose actually really hurts their chances as T1, again, are working this map more efficiently with a Magnus. They are. Bot ruin spot. Rupido gonna be able to just blink away. Things still just going swimmingly for both teams. Like Yoe just really wants that Daedalus up now for that added damage and He's already doing quite a lot of damage, but being able to burst people down in like two hits is always going to feel quite nice if you can have that. Looks like the rest of Execration 
are going to go for a quick smoke up. Oh. Bot lane, who have they found? It is going to be Carl with the Cataclysm. However, he does BKB and RP. Just defensively trying to get out. Now Jackie's going to show himself. Rupido is there with the arena. Drops it straight away with the Spirit of Disruption. Is going to save the day from Zephyr. Jackie now pops the Enrage. Does get Cycloned up. He's going to try and fight this one out. And actually does a lot of damage to Yoe. He's trying to turn around, but he cannot. Yoe will die. Rupido still going though. Jackie's falling low. And they do get the kill. Onto Whitemon. He will also die to RR. Cuckoo has been left behind. He will go down. And Zephyr being lifted up by BDZ will be the fourth one to die. This is all at the cost of a position one Sven. It's going to be a very worthwhile trade for Execration. And this exact situation happened before as well. Where they commit everything they had to kill off the Sven. I believe that was near the mid-tier one fight. It, it cost them so much to just kill the Sven. I'm surprised they jumped back in after the RP BKB was blown from Carl. They need to play with that on the offense, not the defense. And with that kind of opening, Execration, even though they lost their big core, they will get some good damage in onto this tier tree. They've got Alacrity up on the Siege Creep. They can still do some good work on these objectives. That they can. They'll get a tier 3 and that'll be it. They don't want to rush too much. Carl. Gonna show up for a second, but he's just gonna be there to defend. He doesn't want any part of this Execration side right now. Uh, definitely getting harder and harder as time goes on. As you look at the Mars again, Johnny's going for that Heaven's Halberd now. It's uh, going to be a bit tough for Jackie to deal with. Because he has gone for a bit of status resist with that, uh, that S and Y build up. So it isn't going to last as long, but it is still going to be kind of frustrating here for Jackie. Invisibility. Yeah. I'd say shouldn't be too worried. He does have a lot of status resist, although... Jewel comes out, Cuckoo catches him mid-flight. He's not going to be able to get the kill though. Disruption, Egg all coming out. Jackie trying to take down the Egg first and does. With that Egg gone, looks like they want to think about going for a Roshan and that'll force RR to buy back. He'll TP back towards his team. But with this buyback now, Execration are going to be the ones that are forced to try and Roshan. They do not have the Egg, so this could be dangerous. <laughs> it's going to be a big loss uh, if they can't get something out of this buyback. Jackie. Jackie's gone back in. They know about this. They're going to try and interrupt Jackie. BKB. Aegis picked up. He does get it. Now the duel is there. Jackie should be able to at least take down this Mars. He is still alive, however. He'll have to wait a bit longer. Arena going to be dropping an immediate bash out from Jackie. A great touch on the spear as well out from our Ursa. And they will get the kill. On to Carl. Cataclysm is going to come out, but Yoe is going to get RP'd up. Do they have Ooh. the damage output? Well, they purge him up. Yoe can't go anywhere. He has to try and fight back, but he doesn't even have the god strength available. And they move in for more now. Execration, they do get everyone else out. But that is a huge loss coming for that Radiant side. I mean, that was just so awkward buying back on RR. He did not have Egg anyway, so his contribution would have been really minimal in terms of a team fight beyond the healing. Um, really bad spot he won now, managing to make the most of that pickup. Do have the Aegis standing on Jackie, so he's gonna be able to do a lot more here. And they're gonna have they're gonna be hard pressed to lock him in. Again, you're just seeing the effect of the stat resist coming out. He is just very hard to keep pinned down. You're gonna be able to find some objectives. The one blessing here for Execration is that there's no RP for a while, and they have stolen RP on VDZ, so there's an opportunity to punish T1 for overextending. That there is. Jackie not gonna back off this tier two. He really just wants it down. BDZ Ooh. gets the RP off. He got three of them. Arena's going to be there. White Mon popping the Guardian Angel straight off the bat, but they have lost two supports already. Still Jackie going back on to the Mars. They should be able to get one, but the Deafening Blast going to delay things quite a bit. Rupido's still alive. He's going to be fine. Jackie trying to go for a run, but he's going to be speared up, and it looks like he may just die, and he does. That'll be the Aegis. Can they get the secondary line? Cold Snap is there. Yoe does get in with the blink and Jackie is set to die. RR the one to pick up the kill. A triple kill out on the Phoenix. 
What an RP coming up from BDZ. Even Rupiro gets a spear off onto Carl. BKB going to be forced out. Oh, God. The Carl's gone. It's just way too much damage from Yoe. Ooh, that, that is painful for T1. Again, overstaying. That seems to be the name of the game here. When T1 wins, it's ex Execration overstaying the welcome. When Execration wins, it's T1 overextending your welcome. So both sides have to know their limits. Good punishment out from BDZ. His Rubik has been on point. Rupido as well with a follow-up. The coordination here from Execration just shining true once more. They find an objective. They take the network lead back their side and they don't have to worry about Aegis. So they open up themselves for the cleanup in the melee racks. They could swing down mid if they wanted oh, to. Oh, great. You'll slip around. They got Cuckoo there. Stun is out as well. White Mon being caught, but the disruption is going to save. So Cuckoo is going to die. Yoe finding a double kill on the Sven. And this is starting to look very, very bad for T1. They are going to lose their first melee barracks of the game. And with the time they have, they might be able to get a secondary. White Mon will buy it back, but it needs more help than that. Kuku and Carl, they are holding on to their buybacks. Zephyr going to show up. Now the buybacks come out with the disruption set up for Yoe. Pops the BKB and just runs away. And Rupiro will let them know about it. However, BDZ maybe gets caught out. But no, he blinks away. He should be all right. And Carl cannot keep up. And that is a very unfortunate situation for T1. So many buybacks forced out, but they get absolutely nada. It's it's a tricky spot. Like, they couldn't allow another set of racks to fall down. Um, they would have lost at least just this racks. Like, the top racks would have still held because they have their tier 2. Now T1's on a bit of a back foot. They're 6k behind, which is not a huge amount. But that's only because Jackie's number 1 right now. Everyone else on t one side is lagging behind in farm. Cuckoo is pretty much a non-factor on this LT. And so strange to say that because this is one of his signature heroes. And he has just not been able to get get as much out of his duels as he'd want to. The duel, the disarms from the Invoker just doing way too much. They will smoke up. They've got RP. They need to win. If they die here, they're, they're out of a lot of buybacks. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Smoke on smoke. Scanning for enemies. They are quite far away from each other. T1, they're just going to wait around the mid lane. Cuckoo can have a search around. Ken still just smoke, not in the ghost walk. Jackie's gonna have his smoke broken. He knows they're around here somewhere. Now blink it, oh. it all. It's a great arena round with the cataclysm. If they're gonna blow up Cuckoo straight off the bat. Now Yoe getting it onto Zephyr. He kills off the Shadow Demon, but can they get more? Jackie's trying to run, but that BKB gonna wear off soon. He has nowhere left to go. He tries to jump the cliff, but he couldn't get over it. The spear will help him out though. They'll lose White Mon. He needs to try and fight this one out. He's gonna try. He still has the cheese. And Carl's coming in. He does have an RP, but the lift down from BDZ not allowing him to get in range for a nice RP. He has to try. Yoe actually dying to Jackie. Jackie stays alive long enough to kill off the Sven. Now the skewer and the RP out. BDZ waiting with the RP Ooh. back. He does still and turn it back around. And now they can take out Jackie. And they will also find Carl. Zephyr is probably going to die a secondary time. And that is a full team wipeout. Ooh. Oh, BDZ Ooh. Rubik is just such a treat to watch. Oh, it really is. He's done this multiple times in this Rubik already in the few days we've casted. Just an absolute beast. And T1, they're out of a couple of buybacks now. Fortunately, you know, the mid rack still stand. There is still a tier 2 for Execration to eat through, but the, the lead is wide now. This is 14k up on Execration. This is very bad news for T1, even if they do respawn in. There's a very, very tight window where they can get the fight going, and they're going to have to really force it out. If Execration overstays without the Sven, that could be an opening, but the respawns are just too long. They're still going to drop these objectives. That they will. mid rack has gone, and uh, it really should be Megas. It's Rupido going to find Kuku again, gets a nice arena off, but the Heavenly Grace is going to save his life. Ken, going in with a... Massive Chaos Meteor, Whitemon 
Getting it blown up, and now BDZ with the lift up on Cuckoo. Won't be enough. But with that, that final lane of barracks is just set to fall. They're going to try and defend this one out. Jackie jumps in straight onto the Mars. Pops the BKB. Can't keep going though. The Glimmer Cape was there. Cuckoo now being tornadoed up. Rupido spin. Not going to be well timed. He does miss out on the LC. But that Rax is 25 HP away from dying. Someone's just going to go in and hit it. They do force out the Glyph. I don't think Rupido is planning to back off until he does get the kill. Cuckoo going to try and jaw him, but it's already down. The Sun Ray's there as well, so he's taking no damage. Cuckoo trying to run away now. Disruption might save him. The Spear will be off the mark, and Sun Strike will not land either. But now Carl getting in with a great skewer back, but it's not going to be good enough. The Arena there, the Egg Drop. Cuckoo's going to die. They also got White Mon, and now it's on to Carl, who's just a bit of a sitting duck here to Yoair. A great Spear out from our Mars, and that'll mean Carl does die. BDZ oh, with the RP once again. Again, just catching out Jackie, the Cataclysm, the stuns out, they will get game one, an execration. It was a bit rough at the start, John, but man, that second half of the game just looked great for them. Oh, that, that was so well executed out from execration. They ran their lanes perfectly, BDZ delivered the goods on the Rubik, and Rupido as well, he was key to all this. The Mars just setting up the fact that they gave that emphasis to the Mars once the arena was up, going up to the top lane, finding those early kills, applying that pressure out. You also had this really hard matchup coming out for Carl. His Magnus had such a long time down. They couldn't get out any early RPs. They couldn't find any fights set up. And Cuckoo did have a really slow lane on his signature LC. It was just not a very good LC game. Despite having some good anti-control, couldn't find any dual wins. You can see he only found one, one duel, and he did give 20 damage out to our Sven. So, T1, back to the drawing board. I think they've got to find a draft that plays against the playstyle of Execration a little bit better. But Execration, for their part, really well played from all of them. I'd have to say BDZ and, and Rupido really take the MVPs for me in this round. I, I would agree with you on that, John. Of course, we do have a game two coming up shortly in just about 10 minutes. It is MLP Dota and of course John X Fire. We'll see you all again very, very soon for game two of this best of two. See you then.